What is going on out there to all my beautiful subscribers? It's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here. And today we've got the other man, the myth, the legend, Quad Father MFT on for an Advice Wednesday. So dad, introduce yourself. Hey, what is up, warriors? I'd like to say I'm the original, the man, the myth, the legend. You're the OG, man. That's me, the Mr. OG. OG. <laughs> You'll always... You always be OG, I'm, Dad. I'm ODD, uh, you know. ODD? What does that mean? That's just spelling, son. Oh, odd. odd. Oh. <laughs> good, good. Or oppositional defiant disorder. Depends how you Yeah, it just <laughs> it just depends on who you are. Yeah, so. or, or what's up. Yeah, hey, exactly. we got three questions today that, you know mm -hmm. what? I, I really, really do enjoy doing these Advice Wednesdays. Me too. I, I love them because that's what you like. You like giving advice, right? Yeah, I always think I know everything, so it kind of helps <laughs> when people ask me questions. Again, yeah, of course it helps. But Don't let's ask start off, me, please. I'll tell you anyway. Yeah, <laughs> let's start off with the first one. Ready? Number one. All right, this one says, I'm a 14, almost 15-year-old boy living in the Netherlands, and make sure to get comfortable, guys. This is a long one, so we're going to read out the whole thing, but I'm not going to put it on the screen for the whole time because I, I don't want to intercept your... Your complex complexion, your, your amazing your view of the gameplay. Okay, yeah, let's see. Okay, so he says, play. "I'm a 15 or I'm a, I'm a 14, almost 15 year old boy living in the Netherlands." And he says, "So sorry for bad grammar. Currently, I'm in what I believe is ninth grade, as you can call it in the U.S. So I'm not a confident person. I don't really think he explains why he's not a confident person, but he says my my few best friends both have a girlfriend for a pretty long time, which I haven't had any. So I'm starting to feel lonely and even had a light depression for half a year. Well, depression's never good, man. I'm sorry about that. And then he says, but since this year, I'm in a class with this one girl I like. We talk a lot and really enjoy being with each other. We make a bunch of, we, we make each other laugh and stuff. And st I said that incorrectly. Or no, no, I'm blaming on the writer. Sure, he's I from can. the Netherlands. Yeah, Blame. come on, man. Step up your game. Blame the foreigner. <laughs> Blame the foreigner. Uh, she even held on to me tight when we were watching horror movies with a bunch of friends. Now, the point is, I'm very awkward and unconfident, and I have no clue how to ask her out, because I can see this going somewhere if you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm catching your drift, homie. And he says, <laughs> I don't know how to get some alone time with her and ask her out, because I'm not able to just walk up to her and ask her out. I just don't know what to do. Anyway, hope you can respond to this, and as always, keep up the great videos. Loving it. I think you deserve way more subscribers than you have. You're you're better than most YouTubers. Well, thanks, man. I, I don't know about the better than most YouTubers part, but I, I feel like I deserve a, a decent amount of subscribers, which I do have now. But well, all let's right, stop let's talking help about guy. you. Yeah, yeah, let's help out this guy. We'll make it all about you. Mm -hmm. All right. So, okay. So basically the way I see it, he has friends that have girlfriends. He doesn't have a girlfriend. Yeah. He has this girl who he's interested in, but he's kind of awkward and doesn't know how to ask her out. Mm -hmm. Right. He had, he thinks she has some interest in him. <sighs> yep. Okay. That's how it starts. So, you know, it, it sounds almost like he's living in my era back when you didn't have social network. Yeah. You, you, you couldn't tweet her or Instagram her or whatever. Well, we tweeted her, but it wasn't the same thing back then. <laughs> a wink, <laughs> wink. <laughs> no. So, so yeah. So now I feel like, gosh, if I was a teenager now and I was dating, I mean, you've got all these different opportunities to, oh, yeah. to have alone time, if you will, even if it's just virtual or digital alone time. Yeah. You know, I, you don't need to be, you know, just face to face to be able to ask somebody out. I mean, that that's better, but yeah, well, ideally, and I, I think again, you know what? I think we talked about something like this on the last one. It's like, dude, just just ask her out. You, I, uh, you have I, it's nothing so to hard lose. to explain too. It's like all these people. I, I even have a few friends out there. Actually, it's one select friend. I'm looking at you, big guy. He, he knows who he's talking about. Who I'm talking about? I don't. He, uh, you don't. You can I say his name? But I don't need to. No, keep going. No, okay, okay. I'll I'll keep him anonymous. Jim. But he, he just yes, Jim, Jimmy, <laughs> Jimothy. The no, no, man. he, he does The man from Jim Stinia. There you go. The man from Jim Stinia. He, he just won't do anything with his girlfriend. And I'm not what? talking about like having sex or anything. I'm talking about like he won't hold her hand because he says she doesn't care. She doesn't want him to. That's just the dumbest thing. Like, of course she does. How do you not realize? Just be a, a beast. I say that all the time. And I, I know it doesn't really help out anyone when I say it. But it's true. Just do it, man. Why do you think Nike is so successful? It's just because their motto that just do it <laughs> just do it dude i mean that even okay, applies so after you go out with her don't just ignore her i know that happens a lot in like younger grades like fifth and sixth grade they don't okay. talk to their girlfriend let me get look at some basic skills yeah. first of all i think anytime you're talking to somebody it's not they enjoy it if you compliment them okay very true that's fair to do so even if he's complimenting, don't overdo it though no no no, and don't be stupid about it but yeah. you know, just i mean be positive about, about what's going on with them also here's another trick for everybody out there not just this guy from the netherlands ask questions be curious, clarify, say, ask more about what they're talking about. Oh yeah. Re people want to talk about themselves. Right. And so if you keep the topic on her, you, her, your awkwardness won't even show up. 
Very okay? true. Because girls, bo- trust me, girls love to talk. I mean, statistically, <laughs> I think girls have like five to seven times more words per day that they say than than, than guys. That's crazy. Yeah. So I just step out. Be do you not have to be confident? Just be bold. Just mm-hmm. say something. Take a chance. Ask her about herself. Compliment her, and you'll figure out pretty quick whether uh, you're just in do the it, game man. Or not. I'd say follow Nike and just do it, dude. Come yeah, on. and just keep trying. I mean, because there's there's a girl out there for you. Oh yeah, I mean, even if this girl isn't the one and you get turned down, which you probably won't, the way she's acting, definitely by the way she's acting. Uh, uh, you can't trust the way the girls act. But keep, I, 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 come on, man, yeah, it's a no, signal. No. Don't believe them. Don't what? believe what? they lie. You're the liar, dude. You're and they're the liar. fickle, <laughs> and they change their mind. Okay, let's okay, keep going. Okay, and on. attractiveness has an expiration date, so don't let this wait out four months and be like, uh, uh, I don't know if she really likes me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, don't let that happen. Won't happen. Number two. Won't happen. Yep. Next question says, hey, man, I've had a problem lately. So my group of close friends consists of three boys and two girls. So it's kind of his clique. Okay. We're all juniors but one. My friend and I are both in love with the same girl. She's a senior, but when she goes to college, she will still be in our state. She recently came out and said she liked both of us, too, which that doesn't really make any sense, Dad, does it? Uh, yeah, keep going. <laughs> I asked my friend if it was all right to go on a date with her. I feel guilty, even though she said, even though he said it was okay. The other friend that's also in love with her. Okay. We went on it, and he said it was everything I dr- he dreamed. It was great, everything perfect. My friend and I talked the other day, and he said he still really likes her and wants to go on a date with her. This made me feel horrible. I've also been kind of fading away from the group on account of not getting getting in the way. I wanted to be the bigger man and let her go, but it's tearing me up inside. Like, it, it's unbearable. They've noticed my fading away, and she wants to have a one-on-one talk with me in the near future. How do I make this work? How do I not ruin all of our friendships? I feel like this is all my fault. It would be great if you and your father could assist me. Thanks for taking the time to read this. Okay. Um, doesn't it all boil down to bros before hoes? Is <sighs> it does. I know you say you're in love and everything, which you probably are. Yeah, okay, but. what's the character of this girl? I don't. We don't know. Okay. He, is, he didn't really give us too many details. Yeah, you have. We got all the details oh, we need yeah, to know. She likes. Both she likes guys. them both guys. Ah, okay. So weird. if you flip this around, take flip the flip the genders around mm-hmm. and say there's a guy who has two girls that like him, and he says, "Well, I like you both." Okay, what kind of guy is that? That's just a weirdo. He's an ass. Actually, <laughs> he's pretty normal because we, yeah, he you know, is pretty freaking yeah, normal. Yeah, he, he likes them all, man. I oh, can't yeah. blame him. Okay, <laughs> but this girl can't, can't even choose. make up her mind and choose, and she tells them both that she likes them. Yeah, that, as that, that's as far as I'm concerned, good. stay away from her. Because let's say I know it's gonna be so hard. I'm trying to be the kid here and tell you how he would feel <laughs> if he heard you saying that. Yeah. It would be so hard. It would. You know what? Because there's, there's no, wait. We we gotta help him with this group too, Dad. We can't let him. We can't let him like fall behind with this group because he said he's fading away. Uh, again, listen to my dad. No, Bros no. before hoes. I'm telling. Yeah, I'm telling you that this solution will get him back with the group. Let's hear. Okay, it. if he just no, if he just sees her for the girl that she truly is, obviously, that she's a, she's playing the field. Mm-hmm. She's not going to commit. She's not going to settle down with anyone. She's going to college next year. Okay? Yeah, come on, man. It's all over. Yeah. Uh, you <laughs> it's know, hard when you're to still say. In, when you're Wait, still didn't that happen with you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I you, was, you was going out with a girl, girl when for, you were a junior. And yeah, for about a year and a half. She was a great time. ahead of me. We dated for about a year and a half. She went to college. It was all over. Yep. Okay. High school girls, generally high school girls, seniors are not da- dating high school guys, much less juniors. Yeah. They're always looking older because they're a little bit more mature. They have a little bit more game. You know, the older guys find them interesting and, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, I can't blame them. Okay. So this girl ain't going to be around anyway. So get back in your group, settle it with your buddy, say you can have her. Yep. Give it to him. Which, Give it which, to your buddy. Which, which I actually, I totally understand because it's super exciting to be dating and pursuing and getting to know someone. So I understand why he's excited about it. Mm-hmm. But you got to look at what she's giving you. Yep. She's giving you the fact that that he, she's invo- want, is open to both guys. Yeah. Not, uh, not a game. She I doesn't really play. like both of. Or no, she doesn't really like one of you. Right. I'm out. All, All right. right. Yep. If I'm him, just, I'm out. just get out, man. Get out. It's about time. Face the facts. You can't do anything. All yeah. right. You want to move on to the next question? Let's do it. All right, this one here says, Hey, Quad, I have a problem I would love you and your dad to help me out with. I'm a 17-year-old, and I'm from the UK, but you seem like a cool guy, so I thought I'd ask you for help. Hey, I've another been... foreigner. <laughs> exactly. That's all we're You have worldwide appeal. I, I'm happy. That's cool. All and right. he says, I've been in a relationship for two years with a girl. I genuinely love her to bits, but I constantly feel unhappy with the relationship. We've talked about it, but nothing ever changes my gut feelings. I feel like I'm missing out on the playing field and having fun. I'd love some advice off you and Quadfather about what to do. Thanks a lot, bro. Wow. You know what? It sounds like he's trapped in a loveless marriage. It's kind of true. 
Well, I, uh, sadly, well, I, okay, but he's I'd not say a introduce. Well, of course, you and your friends have obviously talked to your girlfriend, but I'd say kind of you know merge the groups together, hang out with your girlfriend while you're with your friends, so you can get you know the best of both worlds. And you may say, well, then I'll kind of ignore my friends or I'll kind of ignore my girlfriend. I, you got to find a way where it's mixed in between. Well, I'm really concerned why he's in this relationship and he just is not he's unhappy yeah if you're not happy don't stay right i mean don't don't do it in like 10 seconds no but if you're not happy for like four or five days right you, uh, it's probably well, not gonna get better it sounds i mean he's saying it's unhappy for two years <laughs> oh my god I mean, so dude. what i don't get know. out yeah just like the last guy get out dude right well we're telling everybody to leave their girlfriends but but in this case if come on what if it hasn't gotten better in two years and he's not saying it was great, 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 and then it went bad. He's saying it's really not, it hasn't been good, mm -hmm. and I don't know what to do. Well, I think he's the type of guy, and I totally relate. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a guy who's always was committed and dedicated into, into a relationship, so yep. you don't want to let that time investment go. But you really got to analyze the fact that if it's been bad for this long, why do you think it's going to get better in the future? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to face the facts. And all these questions that we've answered... It's hard to face the facts, but sometimes that's really what you got to do. Well, and we can, we go on such limited information that they give us. But yeah, we're just if giving we the talk best to we them for thirty minutes, it'd be way more, yeah, in way depth, more detailed, and, and you'd learn a lot more. But mm -hmm. but that's but we're just trying to help you guys. Yep. So, do any any other final question or anything? Eh, it looks like that's all we have for today. So, I hopefully eh, hopefully I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys do know how to appreciate it. Leave a like rating down below. Oh my gosh, guys, I love it when you like it. That really helps me out. And if this is our first video that you guys have seen, make sure to subscribe because there's going to be lots more to come you guys know mm -hmm. where to hit that subscribe button it's been quantum ft make sure to check out my social media links down in the description below it's been quantum ft like i said and i'll be seeing you guys in the next video and i'll see you at the bros before hose t-shirt store